Okay, everyone, welcome to grammar class. Today, we're learning about the German indefinite article. The indefinite article in English is the word a, which changes into n, if the following word starts with a vowel. In the plural, we say either some, any, or nothing at all. For example, we'd like a cup of tea. I have an older brother. He needs some money. The indefinite article in German is ein. However, ein can change to eine, depending on whether the noun it's used with is masculine, feminine or neuter. Here is a table that shows which version you use for which gender. When talking about masculine or neuter nouns, you use ein. For example, Der Kuchen, ein Kuchen, der Teller, ein Teller, das Bier, ein Bier, das Messer, ein Messer. And feminine words use eine. For example, die Rechnung, eine Rechnung, die Kellnerin, eine Kellnerin. Note that there is no plural form of the indefinite article in the German language. For example, haben Sie Servietten? Now you have familiarized yourself with the indefinite article, let's have a look at the indefinite article in a negative sentence. A negative sentence uses a word such as not, nothing or never to express that something is not happening or isn't true. The word not is often combined with other English verbs, for example, doesn't, won't, or can't. For example, I'm not happy. He can't help me. She's never at home. Negative sentences in German are formed with the following words. Nicht or kein, nicht mehr or keine mehr, nie, Nichts, niemand. One of the first confusions you will encounter when learning the German language is what's the difference between kein and nicht and when should you use them? Okay, the quick answer is that nicht is used in any situation except in direct relation to a noun. Then you use a form of kein. Therefore, nicht is used with verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. The word nicht is pretty straightforward as its form never changes. To use it in a sentence, you need to understand the word order. It usually comes straight after an affected verb or direct object, but often comes before the affected adjective. For example, Ich wohne nicht in Italien. Ich kann das Bier nicht trinken. Das Essen schmeckt nicht gut. In German, you use a separate negative form of the indefinite article, which is formed exactly like ein. The difference is that the negative form also has plural forms. You always use kein if it's in direct relation to a noun. For example, Ich habe kein Besteck. Ich möchte keine Tomatensuppe. When you first use these, it will be confusing. But don't worry. You will pick it up quite quickly and it will soon become instinctive. 